Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trade Sales coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be alive, and we got lots to talk about. It looks like two million retailers are accepting this coin, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to reveal which coin that is, and then we should see this coin is one of the coins that we've been holding for a very long time, and we've been talking about it on this channel for so, so, so long. So we got that to talk about. Also, we got big announcement on Wednesday. We got CPI data coming out on Wednesday. Also, we got the federal rate hike coming out as well. So we got a lot of news, a lot of stuff to cover, guys. So let's get it right now so guys get ready to go down the crypto rabbit hole with the og boot the likes boot the likes smash the likes and don't forget to give uh you know some thanks and right now you can go down there and hit the thanks button and you can actually give super chats uh you know when you're not in the uh live stream uh by using the uh, youtube super thanks so i just want to say get it get it get it while you can guys and don't forget to go and check out all the linky links are below all the links are below you become a patreon member buy a channel of coffee and guys check out the dogecoin tippy jar send some send some doji woji send some love guys so right now at the time of recording remember none of this is financial advice this is just an og in-house expressing opinion i'm not a licensed financial advisor right now we're seeing that the fear and greed is at 27 and it is slightly down from yesterday almost zero in-house so so right now for the whole crypto market you see on the heat map in the house we've seen btc that is down about one percent right now ethereum is still still in a positive territory but by the time you're watching this that positive ter positive territory could become negative so right now we're seeing that the markets are pretty much shaky overall and if you take a look at the pre-markets right now in the house we can see the pre-markets are slightly in the green but there's no telling where this could go this could go up it could go down it could go anywhere but the, you know the the wall street is pretty jittery right now because wednesday we do have the cpi data and we do have the federal rate hike guys so as uh, just a just to prove a point you can see that wednesday at 8 30 a.m we got the cpi core uh pricing coming out so that's going to tell us if the inflation is going up or up or going down diddy diddy down down so i'm hoping it's going i hope it's i hope the inflation Inflation is not going up because it's getting too 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 much to handle out there. It's absolutely too much to handle. Things are getting more and more expensive. Things are getting crazy out of control. You know, you fill up your gas and it's costing way, way too much, guys. So hopefully we can get this under control. And right now we're looking at the federal rate hike. It's also going to be announced when we had the federal budget coming out on Wednesday as well. So right now, you know, at investing.com, we're seeing that majority of people, 99% of the people out there believe, absolutely believe, absolutely believe out there that we're going to be seeing that the, the core C the uh, rate hike is going to be around about 0 0.75 basis points so that's not looking good and that's not baked in that's absolutely not been baked in uh to the markets right now so if that does happen we're probably going to be seeing that the markets are going to tank we're going to be seeing things go down DD DD down like crazy so i'm really hoping i'm praying out there that it's only going to be about 0 0.50 basis points so if that happens we'll be fine because that is baked in that is absolutely baked in so right now if we take a look at the on-chain data for bitcoin we're seeing that uh, 361 million bitcoin are flown off exchanges uh today so far today we're seeing however that we're seeing an inflow of ethereum onto exchanges and it looks like people have been selling their ethereum about two to 1.1 billion in 880 million out so it is we are still seeing some going out but we are seeing that some people have been selling their ethereum about 200 million dollars worth of ethereum has been sold and been people been taking the profits guys been taking those profits and we're seeing that ethereum as well we're seeing ethereum also been taking off exchanges as well so it looks like for bitcoin bitcoin still people are pretty pretty solid and pretty pumped up about that and pretty confident about the future of bitcoin in house so some news that's coming in so finders experts predicts that ethereum price reaching five thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars this year and twenty three thousand dollars by 2030 so remember finders they often predict they often predict the uh, level and the velocity and the price of big of, of uh, cryptocurrencies and you know their their predictions are somewhat very conservative very conservative prediction so they're making a conservative prediction that we could be seeing five thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars for ethereum so that is huge guys that's absolutely huge and by 2020 it could be worth twenty three thousand three hundred seventy two dollars an hour so that's pretty good uh, you know particularly if you bought your Ethereum around about uh, 25 bucks, to, so you guys are just like enjoying life and things are looking pretty good. Some other news that's coming in right now, we're seeing that this coin right now uh, just ships fast food chain while it grants Shiba Inu community. 15% ownership. So that's interesting. It looks like this community, what they're doing, well, is the first uh, restaurant using a meme coin inspired Shiba Inu. What they did is they announced that they're going to be giving the Shiba Inu, 15, 15, Shiba Inu community about 15% ownership of its company on top of planned token burn commitment. So that is pretty good. So what they're saying is that, uh, you know, we're honored to grant uh, Shiba token decentralized community full 50% ownership of Welly's uh, company uh, on the road to acquisition. This is an amazing way to give back to the community who love 
loves us so much. The percentage will be aggregated in Shiba Welly Wallet and will be include profits from Welly activity. Use of the funds for Burns and other persons will be controlled by the Shiba Army to the Bone Dow. Okay, so it's pretty good that they're giving back to the community, and so I'm pretty I'm pretty bullish about that. So you know, if more and more uh, companies did that, they're just showing the love for the community out there. So this is also coming in right now as well. We're seeing right now that V Chain now accepted as payment in two million stores, guys. So that is pretty good, and this is in partnership, absolutely in partnership. Uh, so supply chain focus V Chain Vet Vet, and we've been having Vet and holding Vet for a very long time in our portfolio. I believe that Vet is a coin that you should be holding and want to be holding because I think it's got long-term capabilities and long-term growth opportunities. Remember, this is not financial advice. So supply chain focus Vet is now accepted as a payment at over two million stores across the globe, partnering with payments protocol Alchemy Pay ACH. So that is pretty good in the house. So I'm that's good, guys. So you know Alchemy. And so Vet is a very good supply chain coin. What it does, it allows you to track goods going from the factory to retailers. Particularly, you know, a lot of luxury goods are using it as well, and they can put little tracking devices on there as well. So that is cool, guys. That's absolutely cool beans. So that is some positive news. Vet now accepted as uh, payment in two million stores worldwide through I Alchemy tie-up. So that is pretty cool beans. This also coming out on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Bitcoin. Who isn't bullish? So we're seeing. If we take a look at this chart right now, we're seeing that these fractals from 2015, 2016 are almost identical. And then after that, we saw that, uh, you know, in 2016, 2017, 2018, we saw Bitcoin had a huge breakout to the upside. So if this fractal does play out, we could be seeing a huge, huge rise for the itty bitty uh, coming soon. And I'm predicting that we're going to be seeing $100,000 Bitcoin coming in by the end of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get it, get it, get it. So it's a huge time to be alive. Uh, this also coming in from also TA House. You're saying your Bitcoin comparison, no coin. So if we look at the 2019, 2015 to 2017, if you look at that fractal again, we're seeing something almost similar. Remember, history never repeats, but it definitely rhymes out there. So guys and gals, if you're pumped like I'm pumped, if you're psyched like I'm psyched, guys, get it, get it, get it. And this is just more and more evidence that we're going to see Bitcoin rise to the moon, guys. And when that happens, we're going to see Doja Woja, we're going to see Shiba Inu, we're going to see all the old coins go to the moon, including the Ethereum, guys. So this is a great time to be alive once again. Guys, don't forget to go down there and check out the links, guys, and buy the merch, guys. We've got tons of merch. Get the merch, guys. Get the mug, the mug. Get the cup, the cup. Get the cap, the cap. All of this goes to charity, guys. So let's get it, get it, get it. Get it while you can. Absolutely get it while. Looks like we're still in accumulation phase. And I've been telling you that for a very long time that Bitcoin is still in very much an accumulation phase. And we've been in this accumulation phase between $48,000 and $35,000 in the house. So right now, as for the price of Bitcoin, we're seeing that Bitcoin is at $38,000. $476. So, you know, we're just been going sideways today and expect a lot of chop, a lot of turbulence uh, because until Wednesday comes out, I'm keeping my fingers crossed, keeping my fingers crossed out there that we don't have to give Jeremy Powell a red card out there uh, because if we do have to give Jeremy Powell a red card because he decides to increase the basis points to 0 0.75 when he told us, when he absolutely told us before uh, the FOMC meetings that it was only going to be about 0 0.5. So if he does that, that's going to be a huge Debbie Downer and the markets will tankity tank tank and that'll probably take crypto down with it but right now so far bitcoin has just been going sideways and if you look at the, the nasdaq and compare it to bitcoin the nasdaq is getting getting crushed out there but bitcoin is still holding its own pretty much holding its own so that is pretty cool beans in the house so hopefully you're loving it i'm loving it everybody's loving it guys so get get it get it get it while you can so some other stuff that's coming in as well we we'll talk about the accumulation huge accumulation coming in right now and also it looks like bitcoin i'm loaded up as possible and if we if we can see that right now we can see that if this is a huge time to load up and you know if we can stay above this line and we are above this line right now and then we can get up above this bearish bearish uh, uh, signal here this uh, green line then that's going to signal a huge upside for bitcoin so it looks like bitcoin is looking pretty good and this will mean that if we break this green line it means that we're going to be seeing a absolute absolute absolutely fifty thousand dollar incoming in the next couple of weeks for the itty bitty baby guys so let's take a look at uh, bitcoin on the four hour chart uh, so we can see that Bitcoin is still having a hard time right now staying above the 38,500. There's a huge amount of resistance, absolutely a huge amount of resistance, and we definitely need to be getting uppity up, up, guys. 
So for the leverage apes in the house, you can see right now that 54% of the, of the leverage apes are long and the balance are short. And right now the market makers, they don't know which way they're gonna push it. They're gonna be pushing it up, they're gonna be pushing it down. So there's still some, some people out there, they really don't know which direction it's gonna go. But remember, the market makers say what they wanna do is they wanna take your liquidity and the only way they can take the liquidity is by manipulating the, the Bitcoin price either up or down, depending, absolutely depending on where Bitcoin is. So if you take a look at the Bitcoin, uh, if you take a look at the leverage apes, on the 12 hour, we can see that on the 12 hour, it's 60, 68% are short. So what that means is the shorts are building up. If that happens, that means the price is will go up, the up guys. So let's just wait and see and get a confirmation of that. But you can see that also too, on the four hour, we're also seeing a lot of shorts and also on the one hour, seeing a lot of longs. So it's kind of a mixed bag right now, but right now we're seeing a lot of longs and that is why we're seeing the Bitcoin price go down, dee, 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 down, down. So that's kind of interesting why that's happening. So I wouldn't panic too much out there. Absolutely do not panic out there it's still a life is still looking good and crypto is a jungle guys crypto is absolutely a jungle out there so this is also coming in right now so you can see right now if you look at these searches if you go to google search and you type in dogecoin the this is what's coming out is this telling us is this telling us what the future of dogecoin is going to be that dogecoin is the next bitcoin dogecoin is the future dogecoin the new bitcoin and dogecoin absolutely the people's currency so let's get it get it get it and let's get it right now so this coming in for dogecoin right now dogecoin consolidates we can flush so we had a big huge flush out of dogecoin on the weekend but we're seeing that uh, you know it's going to be running higher and higher and i don't believe that we're going to be going down to 10 cents a lot of been, people have been predicting that the doge Wars is going to collapse and it's just going to not be worth anything but you can see that the 13 cent level is holding very very strong it's holding like a diamond and remember if you want to stay in this business what are you going to do is dollar cost average have kryptonite hands kryptonite hands that is what we're going to need and that's what we're going to get so let's take a look at the shiba inu price and uh, let's move on guys so right now we can see that the shiba inu price in the house right now is at 20 and it's been holding pretty strong around this level and we can see that we had a green a green candle a green arrow going to the upside and we we went uh, had uh, three impulses to the upside but on the third impulse we got rejected to the downside so guys just keep an eye on that shiba inu is kind of also going range about it's kind of just going sideways as well between around about the 20 and 22 level so that's what's been going on for shiba inu we've had a lot of good news a lot of good catalysts out there but we're still seeing that shiba inu hasn't got the momentum that we need to get it going the same with Dogecoin. Dogecoin, we just need to have that momentum because we see that, you know, even though we had this big spike with the Elon Musk uh, announcing that he's going to buy, buy Twitter, uh, we thought that, that the, you know, we would continue going up with Dogecoin, but it just didn't. It got rejected and we went down, did, 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 down, down. But you can see that we're getting closer to the edge of this apex for Dogecoin. And if once a Dogecoin starts to break out of that apex, things are going to be looking pretty good, pretty minty fresh, guys. And things are going to be going up, pretty up, up. I'm feeling so pumped, guys. I'm feeling so psyched that, you know, I, I you know, May is typically a very good month for crypto. Right now, we're seeing that the Bitcoin is still at 38,000. So weekly, the weekly chart, by the way, we're still in our uh, green horizontal support line. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, but we still need to get above the 21-day EMA. We're not quite there yet. We definitely need to get above there. And that is what we're waiting for. So right now, for the price of Ethereum, Ethereum is right now, it's, it dropped down to 2,700. It's come up to 2,830 right now. So it's still being supported in this zone here between 3,000 and 2,700. We're just waiting for confirmation of, from Bitcoin but guys, expect a lot of chop. I'll expect a lot of volatility until after the Wednesday's announcement. If see if the inflation rate goes up and the uh, the rate the Fed hikes up the rate, it's going to be a total disaster. Everything is going to tank, guys. Get ready for a big tankage. We could even see Bitcoin going down to like thirty six thousand dollars in the house. If you take a look at Phantom right now, Phantom is also just being range bound in its channel right now. So Phantom is trading at seventy eight dollars and thirty two cents. It's just been going sideways. The volume is pretty good though, uh, but uh, we're not seeing much happening for Phantom. If you take a look at the Solana in the house as well, Solana is at $87. Not really not much going on there. It's just been going sideways for some time right now. So it is what it is, guys. I know a lot of you are Debbie Downing, but it's better than where it was before. I mean, uh, only like two days ago, it was down to like $69. So it's come back a lot. So that is pretty cool, beans in the house. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at VET. VET is also just going sideways at 0 0.48 cents, almost at 5 cents. So with that being said, let's take a look at the total market cap. The total market cap 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 right now is at 1.78 trillion hasn't really moved very much it's just been kind of going stagnant we're seeing that the volumes are about 54.51 billion and the bitcoin dollars is too much too high for my liking and we're seeing that right now overall we're seeing that crypto is down ethereum is still up that's kind of interesting bnb is slightly up so the old coins are starting to make a little bit of recovery a bit of a, a bit of a comeback even though bitcoin is down we're seeing that uh, solana is up slightly we're seeing luna's up two percent cardano's up almost one percent we're seeing the doge wars is slightly down 0.25 percent but it's outperforming bitcoin in terms of that. So
so that's pretty good. Avalanche is up 5%, so Dottie Watt, Watt is also down, and Doja uh, Shiba Weeby is also down 1%, so it's a bit of a mixed bag. So guys and gals, by the time you watch this, we may even see that the markets go, may even change, but I think that today we're going to be seeing a bit of a Debbie Downer day overall, so that is what i got to say about that, guys. So with that being said, guys, don't, don't forget to go follow me on my Twitter. We've got 4,376 follows. Follow, follow, follow. Guys, get it. Follow, follow. Show some love, guys. Don't forget to check out the linky links. Check out the links. Get the links down there. And become a Patreon member. Uh, buy the channel of coffee. Don't forget the Dogecoin tipping chart. Show some love. And guys and gals, don't forget to check out the merchandise. Get the merch. Get the merch. You want to get gear up with the OG gear. And